You know, we are committed as those who handle the Word of God to teaching it to God's people. But we're specifically committed to a kind of preaching and teaching. The pattern in which the Word of God is preached in both the Old and New Testaments is what we call expository preaching. And that's why I'm committed to it and it's my prayer that you either or or will become committed to that same approach to the Scripture. So let's begin by defining exactly what preaching is. Haddon W. Robinson wrote that the presentation of biblical truth derived from and transmitted through a historical, grammatical, spirit-guided study of a passage in its context, which the Holy Spirit applies first to the life of the preacher and then through him to his congregation. He said that is preaching. That's a long and complicated definition, but all of those parts are important because it is it is through the preacher, but it is, again, an understanding by the work of the Spirit, hard work of study, what a passage means in its context that is the foundation for biblical preaching. G. Campbell Morgan simplified it. He said biblical preaching essentially contains three elements. There has to be truth. That is, you have to be accurately handling the Scripture. You have to be drawing out of the Scripture its spirit intended meaning. Then he said there has to be clarity. You have to take that biblical truth and you have to present it in a way that is clear for people to understand. And then finally he said there has to be passion. That is, there has to be the unique, compelling desire of the speaker to get the truth across to those to whom he speaks. That's really a great definition of preaching. Truth, clarity, passion. Sort of putting all of that together, we could say this, a, a good definition of expository preaching is that the preacher reads the text, he explains the text in its context, and then he applies the text. That's exactly what Paul told Timothy to do in 1 Timothy 4. Read it, explain it, apply it, exhort them with that truth. Paul describes it this way in 2 Corinthians 4.2. He contrasts adulterating the Word of God with making a manifestation of the truth. In that text, the Greek word manifestation means a display, a disclosure. That's really what expository preaching is. It is it's a display of the truth of the passage. It's a disclosure of the truth that the Spirit gave in that specific text of Scripture. Because of the nature of expository preaching, it is almost always systematic. That is, it's consecutive or sequential. What I mean by that is, it is typically verse by verse through the flow of a book of the Bible. So, Recapping all of that, we could say this, to be an expository message, you have to begin with a biblical text. That has to drive everything else. Secondly, you have to conduct a careful exegesis of that text in order to arrive at the author's original intention. What did the author mean? The human author and obviously ultimately the Holy Spirit. Thirdly, you have to then, having done that study, having done the exegetical work, you have to interpret the text literally and in its context. You have to land on its meaning. You've studied it, you put all the pieces together, eventually you have to say, this is what this passage is teaching. This is what the author intended. And then you prepare and present a message that in a clear and orderly way explains the original tent of the passage and applies it to today. That is expository preaching.